what's up y'all we're gonna jump away from our residential locksmith series for just a minute because we were contacted through youtube last week by a gentleman who had a locksmith come out and make keys for an old rustling lock but apparently they couldn't make keys for these these five pin mortise cylinders and, and the funny thing is is actually he said that they they gave them a blank so i'm not sure what the problem is but that is one reason why we make these videos for those of you who are aspiring locksmiths can can learn from from this i mean i'm not understanding he didn't understand but apparently they weren't able even though they had a key blank they weren't able to make keys for those rustling mortise cylinders so again it's one reason why we do these videos is so those of you who are out there who may not know how to do this uh, and call yourself a locksmith can you know learn how to do what should be a fairly simple task uh, again i'm not sure why they weren't able to he wasn't sure since they had a key blank but i don't know let's just let's just make keys for these cylinders and get them back out to him so right out of the box with the key blank that they have uh the first thing i noticed is yeah it's, it's not going in Oh, okay, it's going in. Alrighty, well, okay. Uh, okay, obviously it needs a little bit of lube. The screws are not in that great of a shape, so let's go ahead and just see if we can unscrew them without lubricant first. Okay, they unscrewed really easily. Okay, I'm not really sure why this was unable to be done, but we'll go ahead and knock it out for them. first thought was maybe they couldn't shim it or or i don't know oh, okay this one may be in a little bit rougher shape yeah a little bit rougher shape no not too bad though screws do look a little rusty let's go with a little bit wider blade in there right I'm going to put some pressure on this. Yep, I'm not sure why. It's a little bit of pressure and it came right off. Rusty for sure, but no big deal really. Even if the screw was and come off, we've done a video on how to drill out the uh, heads of the screws and then use a pair of pliers. We're going to go ahead and give it a lube real quick. I'm going to take a minute to go do something else while that is coagulating on the inside. I don't know. Let's give it a try real quick. It's gonna, we're going to rock it real quick just to break it free. Kind of one good thing to do before you start trying to shim it. Free up all those pins. All right, we'll see if it'll shim. I don't even know if they tried. Okay, there's five. It is pretty crunchy in there for sure. Okay, there's four, there's three, two just bypassed, and so we should just be able to do that. Okay, and no real big deal. Just a standard mortise cylinder re key. Just because it's got a old keyway doesn't make it any different than any other common mortise cylinder. And again, I don't know the the validity. I don't know. If Maybe this is a more auto guy that didn't know, didn't have a way to cut the key, or I don't know. But if you respond to somebody who needs locks re-keyed, then you should be able to knock out most of them. I mean, I can understand like doorknobs that are 
old and maybe hard to get apart or you just don't know but this is kind of one of those 101 things right i mean hey there's two and wiggle 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 okay no big deal should be is it a big one no it's standard yeah that's that's kind of bigger that's okay we'll go ahead and push it out and follow it back through actually we can just leave it we can follow it follow it out all right there i mean even with even if i just had a lishy clipper or anything i could like just clip this out so again not sure what's going on there let me go ahead and cut this on a 1200 Gonna use the Rustlin Large Pen Standard card for this. I'm gonna cut it on mine first in case it's actually the Large Pen D. Actually, I have. Oh no, that's 52. Never mind. We'll cut mine first and then just copy his. So. Just come up with numbers off the top of my head. Brush, brush. Okay, you, you could go by these Rust one. Five, we'll go 552, 15 drop, this Rust one over here. Let's take a peek in here and make sure all our landings are correct. Yeah, they seem to be. 552, what did I, what did I cut? Three? Was it three, the first one? I don't know, let's see. Yep, that was. So what did I say? 36294. Right there, bottom left hand corner. Yep. 22, two, that'd be 234. That's over here. Two and two. Come on. Two, two. And what was that last one I cut? Five. Five. 279. Looking good. All right, so put the wrong follower through here since this is the bigger plug. Really, all you have to do is lift up. So, see, it's got that gap. Let's go ahead and check these top pins, though. Uh, let's use, uh-oh, I dropped a plug thing. Yep. Yep. You could follow it out, you know, if we wanted to. We could come in with this guy, the bigger uh with this on the outside or the front and then push up push up push up push up boom just like that so now we have the regular plug and we can check to make sure the pins are all okay it's an old fella so you do want to do this not worried about it being master key necessarily just more worried about it you know being an old fella got to make sure the guys are are good in there Okay. Well, that's it, y'all. I mean, really, it's just a standard mortise rekey. Oh, that's some rough stuff right there. That's how they did it back in the day. And check our top pins on this one. Oh, yep, yeah, we do have a, a booger up right there, so that's why you check top pins. Looks like this. Spring is not doing so hot, so let's grab our bent uh, extractor here. Pull that worn out spring out. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, was there going to be another wreck out here? Come on now. Let's 
front two pins were not doing so hot, so we're just gonna replace those two. Oh, come on. oh, oh. Jason, I haven't had enough coffee today. It's first thing Monday morning, so okay, well, we got some spring. A little piece of spring there. Get out of there. Let's check those back ones. Yep. Oh, we are all messed up for sure. We're going to go ahead and replace them all since uh, <laughs> half of them were missing. Best just to do them all. Yes, I'm using slightly longer top pin there. It's all right. It's okay. It's all right. You don't have to worry about minor differences in top pins. For the most part. Oh, hey. go and uh what was it i know 234 was one of them two of them 234 234 294 was this one 249 and what was that last one again 279 That's all there is to it, y'all. So, some pretty rusty screws. Let's give that just a little oomph of lubricant. And we'll screw them back down. So once again, hopefully, uh, you, I hope that those of you out there who are unfamiliar with certain things can learn from our videos. That's why we do the residential series, even though this isn't residential, but you know, you're going to run across things like this in the residential realm because these old fellows were used very commonly back in the day. It was not uncommon to run across old mortise locks and stuff that may have had these on there. Pretty sure this is residential, not commercial. So it kind of falls within the residential realm, you know. Alright, we're going to oomp, oomp, oomp. Oomp, and oomp. I mean, we should be good. We just need to go copy some keys and that's it, really. Smooth as silk. And we're going to get them boxed back up and sent out to this customer. Hopefully his mortise lock can live to lock and unlock for another long time. Long, long time. Oh, it's raining. Dang it. Or one thing I didn't ask him in the email was how many how many keys he wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot an email off to him, see how many keys he needed. And uh, that's basically it. How to, how to re-key mortise cylinders. Old fellow, just because they're old doesn't mean they're odd. They're the same as any other mortise cylinder out there. So thanks for watching, y'all. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments section, and we'll catch you next video. Looks like I'm going to have a wet day.